good afternoon followers of Throttle House. So, I've got the new black BMW here. Um, I'm just taking things apart, making sure stuff's working. Right now it's got a weird idle issue, uh, or a starting issue even. Um, battery's fine, alternator's charging it, uh, but uh, I'm getting some random misfires uh, with fuel cutoff. So I think I'm going to just replace the fuel filter and maybe even the fuel pump. The fuel pump is on and it's priming, but, uh, <coughs> sorry, things aren't working well with the car. It's stuttering and misfiring. It's very dirty, too. I have an extra rebuilt Vanos, which I'm going to uh, replace from my old 325. Uh, I got an extra belt. There's a belt broke down there. Um, I'm just going through all the intake side, making sure everything's okay. The diesel's okay. It's a bit dirty. Um, there's lots of oil on the intake, so uh, I don't know. I might just go right to a catch can on this anyway. Uh, there's a diesel there. Working fine, pin's okay. For those of you that don't know, that pin right there can fall off these and grenade your engine. Classic, right? Uh, so, we're just going through this. Nothing really exciting here, nothing to make a full video about. I'm going to do the brakes as well. Uh, I'm just gonna put some, I just got some Brembo blanks and I'm gonna put those in and we're going to uh, just get it ready to get on the road safely. And then I'm going to strip it, cage it, race car. All right, so I've decided that <clears throat> I'm gonna do a catch can setup in this because what I discovered is my spark plugs were completely fouled. Uh, like, oh, I have them here actually. This is after attempting to clean them. Okay, focus, focus. Do your job, camera. There, I'm tapping on the screen right now. There. So that's the best one. I almost th threw at the rest. I tried to clean them, nothing happened. I got a new set of spark plugs. So oil in the cylinders, how did that happen? So either I have a head gasket leak, unlikely because it's in every single cylinder, or I have a CCV issue. Because what happens is, okay, so um, vacuum is drawn through these here on this guy, okay? It pulls, uh, it, it creates vacuum in the CCV little uh, cyclone system that BMW designed, which is annoying, which is way down underneath the intake manifold. It pulls air from here, which is extra pressure from blow-by uh, in the crankcase. Okay, so it relieves pressure in the crankcase by the vacuum pulling through the, the CCV system from this hose here on the uh, valve cover. Okay, now, that system down there clogs. I can't show it to you because I have to remove the intake manifold to actually get to it. All right, so I'm not going to bother rebuilding that. I'm going to block off the dipstick, which it drains to. Uh, by, the, by block off the dipstick, I mean block off the little hose. I am going to attach a hose to this right here. That's gonna be the source of my vacuum. Some guys that have done these have just attached that one or just attached that one. By the way, this goes here like this on top of the intake manifold and it draws vacuum. So I'm going to uh, tap into this right here. So I just cut off the old hose and I'm gonna use that attachment. And I'm gonna draw a hose over to here where I'm gonna put a catch can and it is going to pull from here, okay? So the oil vapor is going to come here in a hose to the catch can. It's going to collect and separate and then I'm going to put a, uh, a PCV valve on the hose going to the intake manifold. I'll show you this when it's done, but this is my plan for right now. And then I'm going to completely delete the OEM CCV system because it's annoying and I don't want to replace it. And apparently this can be better if you do it right. However, some people tap in vacuum from back here on the intake manifold. There's a port that you can pop off. I'm not going to do that because I have heard that at high RPMs, it, let me get this right, hold on. I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. It does not draw enough vacuum to create vacuum in the crankcase, which means that you can blow things like the rear main seal. So I'm going to draw vacuum from here, and I'm going to draw it from all cylinders by using two hoses. That's the current plan. Okay, so I'm going to go, I just ordered a catch can online, just a generic one, make sure it's baffled, and I'm going to try and rig this up and see if my stuttering issue was related to the spark plugs and oil getting into the cylinders because of the clogs. So what happens is the, the cyclone system, which is actually technically a catch can, it uh, pulls extra 
vapors from the crankcase, swirls them around in there, and it drops the excess down into the oil pan. Now I'm going to get rid of the drain of the oil pan and use a catch can. So it, what happens is that in colder climates, moisture can get in there, it freezes, it ruptures the diaphragm, and then it can actually pull oil back up from the oil pan or pull oil from another area causing, you can actually hydrolock the engine with oil if you can, if you suck too much up. So I'm going to completely delete that because it's stupid. Uh, and I'm just going to go to a catch can. We're going to see how much that works. I actually don't care that much about this engine, so I don't mind experimenting with it a little bit. I've heard some horror stories about what could happen if you do a catch can. So don't write in the comments, oh, you're going to destroy your engine. I don't care. Honestly, this whole car was $2,000, as I said. This engine has like 300 and something thousand kilometers on it. It's kind of beat up. The oil doesn't look good. There's some sludge underneath the valve cover. So if I ruin this engine, good experiment. I'm just going to get another 325 engine for like $200 and drop it in. All right, this is uh, the third day now of plugging away at this thing, trying to make it work. Um, so figured out misfires. Actually, no, I didn't. I just started replacing stuff until it started to work again. That ignition coil was gone. Did some swapping to figure out which one it was bad. It was actually deceptive because it was working intermittently. So when I would like have the engine running and I would pull the ignition coil, I would hear a change on every single coil. So I didn't think there was coils at first, but it was. So I just replaced that one. Now the engine's running a lot smoother. This is a temporary catch can kind of PCV setup here, right? So this is coming from the uh, the outlet, top of the valve cover. It's going in a whole, I've, I've got a lot of extra hosing here because I don't want it, I don't know how long it's gonna be. But this is a PCV valve that is meant for a Ford EcoBoost engine. Um, and then it's going into the uh, the inlet here. So this is, it's pulling the vacuum from this entire rail. And it, there's so much vacuum that I can barely get this off. Um, so things are working well. I'm gonna get the catch cannon installed. This is just in the meantime. I mean, I am putting not very awesome gases right into the intake uh, intentionally, uh, but I'll get a catch can in there to separate it a little bit later. But right now, oh yeah, by the way, before you say a million different things about this intake, this is temporary, temporary, okay? So that is just because I didn't want to have to keep taking the air box off and moving it around. Now I'm gonna have to do a proper intake of some kind or put the factory air box in for whenever. But I just, that's why that's there. So calm down. Don't say nice hot air intake, bro. Um, anyway, so I also think I'm having a weird fuel issue. I ordered another fuel filter. I'm just gonna replace that because those clog. Uh, other than that, the engine is running a lot better, which is silly because I'm as soon as I get the safety done, I'm literally going to pull the engine out of this car and rebuild everything anyway. I just need to get it. I just need it, it needs to pass. So this is the boring stuff. That's why there's no high production value here for you. Uh, just to show you kind of what I've been doing. Um, I can probably walk people through the steps and how to do this catch can setup. This, I did a way too much reading. I literally read for like 24 hours online, every single thing that I could find about it, and this seems to be the best solution. Not not this, but like a, a proper catch can, but I'm, in terms of coming out here, the size of hosing and going into that for the vacuum. Um, that seems to be the best, and uh, the engine's running a lot smoother now. I have a few more things to figure out. I think somebody put an aftermarket HID kit in here, and so we're getting some electrical issues, which is lovely. Thanks for that, whoever owned this car. Um, yeah, once again, boring stuff. Sorry I don't have any serious content for you. The build will start at some point in the new year before the spring. Uh, yeah, I don't want to give anything else away, but uh, this is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I've got that one, and in the background, in front of all my junk, there she is, you guys know that one. So, Two BMWs, lots of work to do, just to make them functioning vehicles, not an actual build. Okay, more updates coming soon.